Peter Skaronsky has all pro potential, and it's obvious on film. Time for another film breakdown from Tic Tac Titans. Titans fans, welcome to another film breakdown from Tic Tac Titans. I am your host, Tyler Rowland, and today's episode is all about Peter Skaronsky. He showed all pro potential on tape in his rookie season. Now, it wasn't all great. There were ups and downs for Peter Skaronsky, no doubt, but we are going to focus on his three best games, showing what he can do in run blocking, what he can do in pass blocking as well. Before we dive into it, do want to thank you guys for supporting the channel. Make sure that you get subscribed, stay subscribed. It's your home for Tennessee Titans film content here at Tic Tac Titans. Also, throw a thumbs up on the video as well. The show is always free. All I ask for in return is the press of a button. But we're going to dive into this week's episode with a Week 18 matchup against the Jacksonville Jaguars. This first play might be my favorite play of Peter Skaronsky's all season long because it demonstrates everything that he can bring to the Tennessee Titans. Right here, we see first step quickness. We see awareness. We see agility. We see power as well. So Peter Skaronsky has it all, and it's on display here. We are going to see a classic outside zone, and this is a play that we're still going to see from the Tennessee Titans a ton under Brian Callahan. You're going to get a double team right here from Dillard and Ajuku, and then one's going to climb to the second level. You're going to double team right here from Rubson and Aaron Brewer, and then a climb to the second level. The most difficult block in the outside zone, in my opinion, puts a ton of pressure on the guards. Very important. Skaronsky's going to have the most difficult block here. He's going to be one-on-one -on -one with this defensive tackle. But this run is going to the left, which means that this defensive tackle has better leverage on this run than Peter Skaronsky does, which means it is vital that Peter Skaronsky's first step with his left foot gets enough width but he keeps his balance that he can cross the face of this defensive tackle, get to his outside shoulder, and give Derrick Henry a lane to run through. And that is exactly what he's able to do. But not only does he accomplish that, and watch this first step right here from Skaronsky. Boom. First step. Gets good width, keeps his balance, and now it's a one-on-one -on -one fight with Skaronsky and that defensive tackle. Boom. He's got control right here. He's controlling him, and then he drives him. Drives him. But right here... I don't know if he can or not, but I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. Skaronsky, out of his peripheral, might be able to see Derrick Henry right here. Watch what he does here. The agility from a man this size to do this. Flip. Boom. Flips his hips. And now he's on the outside, and Derrick Henry's running right off his butt, which is exactly what you want. And not only that, but if we go back just a little bit, you can see here that there's supposed to be a climb up. Andre Dillard, in theory, should be climbing up to 33 to make this block after the double team is executed. But he does not do that. But that's all right. That's all right. Like we saw all season with Peter Skaronsky, he was able to help out lesser offensive linemen around him. So Skaronsky, boom, flips the hips, gets him sealed. And now, not only has he sealed his man and driven him five, six yards off the line of scrimmage, but he sealed number 33 too. He got both of them. And Derrick Henry does what Derrick Henry does and takes it to the house. So this one play right here just shows everything that you could get from Peter Skaronsky. I love this end zone angle on the opposite side too. Takes his man, takes his man, and this hip flip right here. Whoop! I mean, he is in total control with his hands in the chest of the defensive tackle. That is control, agility, power, awareness, everything that you want, you're getting it right there. Touchdown Titans, and we're going to see a lot more of that outside zone here with Brian Callahan as well. So we saw a little outside zone with good agility, good awareness. Here we're going to see Peter Skaronsky on an inside zone, a touchdown run to Tajay Spears, where he's just showing power. So number one, what's going to happen is Andre Dillard and Peter Skaronsky are going to get a double team right here. But then after the double team, it is Skaronsky's job to continue driving that man. Dillard's going to help him get a little bit of leverage, and then Dillard's going to peel off to somebody else. But Skaronsky is putting the crosshairs here on this one because Tajay Spears is a little slow getting out of the backfield just because of some of the pressure. Waiting for it, waiting for it, and now Peter's got him. And look, the defensive tackle started right here on the opposite side of this hash, and Skaronsky is going to drive him. Now Spears can go here, or Spears can go here, but because Pete continues to drive his man 
to the right. Tajay Spears is able to spin, go off of his butt into the end zone. Boom. Spin move in, touchdown. Skaronsky just getting it done, man. At the end of the day, he gets a little help from Dillard there on the double team. But after that push on the hip, look at Skaronsky drive his man, drive his man, drive his man. Continuing to keep a seam for Tajay Spears to get through touchdown Titans. We're going to get into some pass blocking right now. And what the Jacksonville Jaguars do on this play is they have the entire line of scrimmage covered with six guys. One, two, three, four, five, six. All the way out here. And this makes it very difficult for the Titans because you don't necessarily know who you're going to have to block. There are more guys on the line of scrimmage than there are offensive linemen with five. So you got to have great awareness and a great understanding of what could happen here. And ultimately what does happen from the Jacksonville side is you have a twist stunt on the left-hand side. So this defensive tackle is going to come out, and then he's going to go towards Andre Dillard. And the idea is he's going to pull Peter Skaronsky and Andre Dillard this way, and then you're going to have the defensive end come underneath, and hopefully there's going to be a seam right here in between Aaron Brewer and Peter Skaronsky. But watch what Peter Skaronsky does here. He does an absolutely fantastic job of picking up this twist. He's going to start. He's on his man here, catches his man, but it's obvious at this point Oh, he's driving into Dillard. This loop around is coming. But Skaronsky is ready for it. He's athletic enough and has good enough hands to catch it. Slides off. Boom. Picks up Josh Allen, one of the best pass rushers in the NFL. And it gives Tannehill enough time to dump this ball off to Tajay Spears. And once you get the ball in a playmaker's hands, you got a double-digit gain. So this is a great job. And this is one of the things that Titans offensive line struggled with the most last year. And I'm going to attribute to that, like I mentioned in the intro, to a lot of bad offensive line coaching. And Skaronsky had a lot of bad play next to him at center and left tackle. But overall, catches it, sees the stunt, slides off. Gets hands, moves the guy out of the way. It's not pretty, it's dirty, it's grimy, but a great job there. We're going to keep the pass protection going right here as well. This is just a straight one-on-one -on -one scenario. So Jacksonville is going to crowd the line of scrimmage once again, but ultimately just bring their four, and Peter Skaronsky is going to have a one-on-one -on -one with the defensive tackle. And one thing I could see... Could say that Peter Skaronsky needs to improve on is his strength, his ability to anchor. But when you have a midseason appendectomy that totally throws off your weight and your strength, it's understandable that you struggle at times to get that back. But towards the end of the season here, this is the last game of the year, you could see that Skaronsky started to really get it back because, boom, gets hands on his man into his chest. If you go back just a little bit, you can see it perfectly here. Boom, hand right in the chest. He's got that right hand right here. Now I'm controlling you. Now it's all about setting my feet having balance, and keeping my guy under control. And that's exactly what Pete does. Catches him here, settles. See this back foot right here, this right foot? Boom. In the ground, allows him to get leverage, catch his balance. Andre Dillard's getting bowled over here, and this is ultimately a sack. But we're focused on Peter Skaronsky, ladies and gentlemen, not Andre Dillard, who hopefully I never have to watch play football for the Tennessee Titans ever again. But Skaronsky does a great job here of holding his man, and that gives Tannehill time. Now, it isn't Dillard that gives up the sack, but he gives up the pressure, moves him back. Dylan Raidens gives up the sack. I mean, the tackle play was just terrible for the Titans. But whose man is not the problem, all right? Peter Skaronsky still locked up with his guy holding him. So two seconds after his block should have been over, he's still holding his block. So forgive the sack here and focus on the fact that Peter Skaronsky is getting the job done. And that's what's most important because you have to hope from the Titans' perspective that you, and you can see the hands here, right hand in the chest, holding gets his balance, and you're done. You're stoned, and we're going to see more of that in the next game. So we go from the last game of the year to the first game of the year, and I think it's worth noting here that in the first week of the season, Peter Skaronsky was graded as one of the top 12 offensive linemen in the entire NFL, according to Pro Football Focus. And yes, Peter Skaronsky wouldn't have been able to keep up that level of play, but it is worth noting that, you know, then very next week he had an emergency appendectomy that, again, like I mentioned in the last segment, robbed him of his strength and his conditioning right in the middle of the season. And this is the kind of play that I expect to see from Peter Skaronsky going forward. Here, we're going to have, instead of the zone runs that we showed in the first segment where we had outside zone, then inside zone, this is going to be a gap play where you're going to get a couple of down blocks here, all right, and then you're going to have Peter Skaronsky coming around on the pool block 
to kick out this defensive end. And he hits with good power here, knocks his man out of the gap like he's supposed to do. This is just a good job. Again, it's not always pretty. It's not always clean when you're an offensive lineman, but boom, kick out block. And where do you want to go? Okay, you're going to fight me to be inside? Then I'm driving you inside. And look, Pete drives the guy. Everyone is flowing this direction. All the Saints players are flowing this direction. Who's the only guy going this way? The guy that Peter Skaronsky is blocking. So it's just a great job by Pete showing that not only can he execute in zone runs, he can execute a gap scheme. And this is a guy who played offensive tackle for his entire time in college, learning how to play guard. It's not like he was pulling a ton as an offensive tackle. So just a really great job to show versatility from Peter Skaronsky, toughness, finish throughout the whistle. He's not done just making that first block. He's going to drive you as well. So love to see that. All right, that's one gap run. We're getting back to zone runs here, which is what you guys want to see because, of course, that's what the Titans are going to be running under Brian Callahan. But with that, we are going to have typical zone philosophy here. You're going to be going this direction, and Dillard and Trevon Wesco are going to double-team this defensive end, and then someone's going to get up to the safety. But that leaves, once again, Peter Skaronsky with a one-on-one -on -one reach block with a defensive tackle. I believe number 90 is Brian Barise, the, the first-round pick or the rookie from Peter Skaronsky's class. But I hope you guys are hungry because we have a pancake alert. Peter Skaronsky gets his hands on the man, drives him in to the dirt. One-on-one, -on -one, great movement. I mean, think about where they went from. Right here, I'll mark the spot. Right here is where they begin, okay? Pete is going to drive him all the way over past the hash. I mean, think of where they started this play. Boom. Right here, number 90 is closer to the right hash than he is the left hash. And then as we start to play the video, you can see that Pete drives him all the way past the other hash mark. And then, and then, like I said, breakfast is served. Boom. Drop him into the dirt. Look, once I hit puberty, I got fast, and they took me off the offensive line. But I was raised by an offensive lineman. I played offensive line in my early football days. That sort of play right there will always get me fired up. And I hope it fires you guys up too because we're going to see a lot more of that from Peter Skaronsky next season. All right, so we go from a gap run to a zone run back to a gap run here. What you're going to have is you're going to have down blocks from Andre Dillard, Peter Skaronsky, Aaron Brewer, and then you're going to have Daniel Brunskill coming on a pool, and you're going to have Chicka Conquo as the tight end coming on a backside pool as well. And Pete's job on this one is just one-on-one, -on -one, mano a mano you and this defensive tackle. Now, Pete has the leverage on him this time, and that's why gap runs are a little bit different than zone runs. Gap runs have the ability to give you more of a leverage advantage. There's pros and cons to both. We don't have time to get into that right now. But this is just a one-on-one -on -one Peter Skaronsky dominating his matchup. He's going to get on the guy. He's going to turn his butt so that the running back can go off of it. This is excellent execution. Three run plays here. First game of the season for Pete. Coming out swinging against a good defensive front. New Orleans gets hands on him. Drives. Drives. Hands on him. Finish your block. To the whistle. Don't fall off. Drive. Turn. Now Spears has that lane. As my papa would always say, run off asses. Boom. There's your lane. Run off his butt, okay? And that's exactly what Tajay Spears does. And we see the Titans running off Peter Skaronsky's hind parts over and over and over again. Let me get the marks off for you guys. But just an excellent job by Peter Skaronsky in a one-on-one -on -one matchup that is not easy. I mean, it's one-on-one -on -one there. Dillard gives a little shove. But what is Dillard really helping with at that point? He just controls him throughout. Hands inside, moves his body. The ability for Peter Skaronsky to swivel his body to help his running back while keeping attached with his hands in the chest of the defender. We've already seen that be on full display here in these first two games. So excellent job there. Now we're going to get into some pass protection for Peter Skaronsky. And once again, a twist stunt. So let's go back just a little bit here. We are going to have this defensive tackle gets depth. And his whole goal here is to go into Andre Dillard and to pull Skaronsky this way so that there is a huge gap for this defensive end to go through right here and get to Ryan Tannehill. And you got to have great adjustments and great recovery skills. Peter Skaronsky, left hand, gets the left hand to slow down that defender. That should allow time for Andre Dillard to catch him. All right? And that's what happens. And helping Andre Dillard, you get extra bonus points for that. But look, he's got two hands on him. 
a shove to put him back in position for Dillard to recover. Look at Dillard, just all over the place. And then Skaronsky gets off to get the rusher coming from the outside. Slide, get him, push him as well to give Tannehill a lane to throw. And that's a big completion to DeAndre Hopkins. So th- this was a huge stunt pickup by Peter Skaronsky. Boom, watch him slide off, get hands to get him out of the throwing lane. I love seeing it. Love seeing it, Pete. Now we got one more play from this New Orleans game. More pass protection. This is just one-on-one, all right, one-on-one with Barise. And if that's not Barise, whatever, correct me in the comments. That's fine. But we're going to see a spin move here. And it reminds me of Vision in WandaVision. I am not amused. That is what Peter Skronsky is saying right here. <laughs> look at your spin move. But if you look, Pete is a little knocked off by the shoulder at first. Boom. Right there. He's a little off balance. But watch him reset. Uses his hands. Fights through the hands of the defender. Gets reset. Gets back in an athletic position. And now he's good. He's good. Holds his man off. Gives Tannehill a way to throw. Great catch by Traylon Burks as well. So, whether we're seeing gap runs, whether we're seeing zone runs, whether we're seeing stunt pickup, whether we're seeing one-on-one pass protection, Peter Skaronsky getting it done for the Tennessee Titans. And I expect to see a lot more of that next year. Let's slide into this last game. Okay, final game here. We got a midseason tilt against the Indianapolis Colts. The Colts, unlike the other teams that we have seen, they're not going to crowd the line of scrimmage. They're going to leave their front four and keep guys at the second level. And that means that Peter Skaronsky is going to have to do more work at the second level of the defense. We've seen him do some really good work with defensive linemen. But here, he's going to get a quick touch on this defensive tackle to help Aaron Brewer because this is a a situation where Aaron Brewer needs to complete one of those reach blocks where he's going to have to get on the opposite shoulder of somebody who, in theory, is closer to the run than he is. So Peter Skaronsky is going to help with a little bit of push, but mostly Pete is going to have to get up to the second level. And with less guys on the line of scrimmage, more guys at the second level, that makes it more difficult for Peter Skaronsky to be able to do that. But he's going to execute very well. Watch him get this touch on the defensive tackle to help Aaron Brewer out. Boom, touch, and a great push. Do you see that strong push? That push was so strong by Skaronsky. Boom. Knocks the defensive tackle completely off balance and lets Aaron Brewer get that leverage. I mean, that's a win. Huge win from strong hands from Peter Skaronsky. But look how quick Pete is already up to the second level to get on the linebacker. And that's Zaire Franklin, a very good linebacker for the Indianapolis Colts. And he drives him out. Huge lane. Look at this lane for Tajay Spears right now. Look at that lane. Thank you, Pete. Excellent job. Big run. Again, we see it all with Peter Skaronsky in this breakdown. Hand strength, athleticism to get to the second level, agility to flip his hips, j- just great stuff right there. Now we're going to get into our second play against the Colts. And this is another reach block, another difficult reach block at that. You got the defensive end, or the defensive end all the way out here, nosed up on the tight end. And then you got the defensive tackle. And let me remind you, this is DeForest Buckner. Okay, one of the better interior defensive linemen in the NFL. And he is not only outside shoulder of Peter Skaronsky, he's inside shoulder of the offensive tackle. So for Peter Skaronsky to complete a reach block, which by this time you guys are well versed on what a reach block is. So we're having fun, we're educating, all right. But for Skaronsky to get this reach block on DeForest Buckner, a great player, when the run is going this direction, that is a tall task. All right, that's a difficult proposition, but Skaronsky gets it done. Boom. See that step? I want you guys to focus on that left foot. I know it's kind of covered by the goalpost here, but you can see it. Watch that big, strong initial first step off the snap by Peter Skaronsky. Boom. Got him. Now, a little bit of a slant in by the defensive tackle helps Skaronsky a little bit, but now this is about turning those hips, and he does it again. The agility to flip the hips and then ride. All right, your man wants to notice where the ball's going. You're riding with him. One arm, riding with him. Riding with him. That's great job by Peter Skaronsky again. He's not only getting the job done at the line of scrimmage to give the running back an opportunity to run, but he's playing through the whistle and continuing to do work. Love seeing that from Pete. I love this this little reverse 
that the Titans ran a ton. Um, this is a gap run. You're going to have Skaronsky going to kick out right here. And he does a great job of not only getting on the block, but continuing again, continuing to work. Boom. Big hit right there. Get some help from Jalen Duncan. They're blocking the same guy. It's confusing, but either way, Pete gets the job done. And sometimes, you know, you want to see him climb to the second level and run with this guy. But all he has to do is make this block right here. Bam. Got it done. Got it done. That's a win. That's a plus on the play. If you're doing scouting, is it a negative? Is it a minus? Is it a plus? That's a plus for Peter Skaronsky. Get the job done. And I love the little the little reverse. They ran this with Hopkins a few times. Ran it with Tajay Spears a few times. Bam. Nice big block from Peter Skaronsky. Get inside the 10. Love that. Now we're going to finish up with a little more pass protection. And look, we saw Peter Skaronsky against the Milk Toast interior defensive line of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Some young players, some unknown players for the New Orleans Saints. But again, this is DeForest Buckner, one of the best defensive linemen in the NFL. And we're going to watch back-to-back -back reps here where Skaronsky is able to stone him in one-on-one -on -one pass protection. And, you know, these are the matchups that you need Pete to win. What Initially, he's beat. Initially, he's beat, but watch him set his feet back right now. His feet are going. Boom, hands and chest, a little off balance. That does not look like balanced footwork. But watch him slam his feet back in the ground so he can get leverage back. Bam, right there, and now I'm back. Now I'm back in the game. Now I have the leverage. Now I'm under you. Low man wins. I got you. You're going nowhere. 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 And Will Levis is a maniac. Ah! Will, look how excited he is getting up. You're a crazy man, Will Levis. But again, recovery from Peter Skaronsky after initially losing off the snap. Strength and anchor to hold on against a bull rush from a long and strong DeForest Buckner. And he holds it too. He holds the block. He sustains and strains and gets the job done. Gives Will Levis an opportunity to move up in the pocket. Helicopter's up in the air again. Will Levis is a maniac. But that's a first down. Another one-on-one -on -one opportunity here against DeForest Buckner. And Pete wins from the jump. He keeps his base low. Doesn't get caught off balance. Gets hands in the chest. This is just winning. This is just doing work. And DeForest Buckner doesn't even get as close as he got in the last one. This is a great pocket. Unfortunately, Jalen Duncan loses pretty easily. But, I mean, look at the job by Peter Skaronsky against a better player in DeForest Buckner. That's a great job. Again, these aren't the matchups that we saw in the first two games. Nothing. I mean, this is not even close. It's not, it's not even close. DeForest Buckner doesn't get close. That's winning against an all-pro level player. Again, Peter Skaronsky, ups and downs. But those three games right there, we saw exactly what we were hoping to see when Peter Skaronsky was selected number 11 in the NFL draft. All right, Titans fans, that's going to do it for today's episode of Tic Tac Titans. Hope you guys enjoyed. Really excited about what Peter Skaronsky can do. Yes, as I said, it was an up and down season. He had a lot of obstacles and a lot of adversity to get through, not only with the people playing around him, but the emergency appendectomy. A lot of crazy things happening. I expect to see a lot better from Peter Skaronsky in year two, but still very excited about what we saw in year one. Again, thumbs up on the video. Hit subscribe. You're not going to want to miss any of the film content that I'm bringing you guys all year long. And DeAndre Hopkins coming next. You won't want to miss that. But that's going to do it for me today. Thank you guys for tuning in to Tic Tac Titans. Tighten up.